Welcome to the N1 Platinum Show. I am your humble host, and today we're going to be opening up another edition of the Mystery Pack. Today we've got Number Hunters, Abyss Rising, and Battle Pack 3 Monster League, all of which are first edition. So let's, without further ado, get this one out of the way. If you found this video, make sure to check out my channel, favorite, and subscribe. Like my videos. In addition, if you want to support me further, then check out my Patreon page at patreon.com slash and one platinum. Yeah, it's pretty cool on there if you look. Uh, the rewards for signing up for Patreon uh, are <laughs> several card packs. Just check out that little dealio. It's pretty sweet. If you sign up for one of them, you get like eight packs a month. It's pretty awesome. My little gift from me to you. Size Station. Shatter Foil of... Oh, come on there. Yep. Forgotten Temple of the Teep. Shatter Foil. I really like that one. Chow Lin, the Prophet. Mind Over Matter. Cool Common. And Lord Poison. Okay. Next Monster League. Ghosts from the Past. Banish two monsters from your graveyard, then target one face up attack from your monster field. Attack becomes zero until the end of the turn. Really cool. Uh, um, casual play card. Shatter foil enemy controller. Nice. I really like that. Keep that one too. Dodger dragon. This card. Uh, this card's normal summon cannot be negated after this card was normal summon. Your opponent cannot activate counter trap cards for the rest of the turn. Cool. Super Rush Recklessly. Target one beast type monster. You control one monster control controls. Destroy the first target. And if you do, shuffle the second target into the deck. That would have been really cool to run with the Yang Zings. The Yang Zings are beasts, but instead they're worms. Evil Swarm O Lantern. You would read this card, then target one face up monster control controls. Destroy the target. He looks really cool. Huh. <laughs> okay. So, on to the next cards. I will say, we'll save Abyss Rising for last, now for Number Hunters. Honestly, from what I heard, it was either Battle Pack 2 wasn't that good, or Number Hunters wasn't that good, or both. I'm not sure. Alright, come on. Okay. What do we have here? Chromanali Monolith. Resurrection of Chakra? Isn't this like an ancient... Isn't Chakra an ancient card? Wow, I like that card. Uh, Zubaba Knight. I believe this was used um, a lot at one point. I might be wrong. At the start of damage, after this card attacks a phase-up defense between monsters, destroy that monster. Yeah, that effect ain't so useful anymore if it was used in the day. Mud Golem. Trihead does Dragon. Nice. I believe this is a $4 card. When this card is special summoned, you can target one monster your opponent controls. This card gains attack equal to that monster's current attack. If your opponent controls more cards than you do, you can detach one exceed material from this card, then choose one unused monster card zone uh, or spell a trap card zone. While this card stays on the field, the zone cannot be used. Wow, so if it exists like for three turns, your opponent can't set a lot of cards or summon a lot of cards. I think uh, the monster aspect would be better in this situation. But uh, this card reminds me a lot of the Wicked Avatar. If you don't know what that is, you know, Google it up. Uh, that's basically one of my, it's like my top, one of my top three favorite monsters of all time. Like, of course, it's extremely hard to get out, but any card your opponent got out, it was immediately stronger unless he had skill drain on the field, stuff of that nature. But he was just really cool. It was one of the mock-up god cards. It was, uh, there was, I believe there was three Wicked cards that were like, uh, knockoffs of the god cards. There's no replacement for the god cards because the god cards are epic. Love those cards, so put this here. Right. Okay, so what shall we get out of Abyss Rising? Hey, make sure to share this video, guys. Help grow our channel. Be sweet.
8 Magician, Bullblader, Magic Deflector. For this is the turn, negate all equipped field continuous or quickly spell effects on the field. That would stop MST, unless they chained MST to this. Mermail, Abyss, Hilda. Actually, I actually think they couldn't. Hmm, might have to wiki that up. Sure, Knight. I love this line of cards. Yep. Once per turn, you can uh, when the battle position of this face-up card on the field is changed, send one f uh, water monster from your deck to the graveyard. I actually ran a um, <laughs> I ran uh, a, a variant of Dragon Ruler trying to make Brush Fire Knight work because it was so cool. Because when you summoned, you sent a fire monster to the graveyard like Blaster, and then when he's blown up, you send another one, such as Flameville Guard or if you teched in another fire uh, dragon monster. It was really cool and I thought, you know, what if you made a dragon roller deck with two copies of each of these cards, but the thing is that some of these knights effects aren't really that good. Like you could tech in three rotas to make the deck more consistent, but a lot of these effects you're not getting off, which is sad because they're so cool. Like just because of the art, putting this guy here. Rage of the Deep Sea, I hate the deck that uses this card a lot. Oh man, I've been trolled several times with that. Um, Achacha Chanbara, Madolce Marmalade, Fishborg Launcher. Okay, so our pulls for all three of these packs. Got actually got quite a few here. Got Forgotten Temple of the Deep. Love that card. Enemy Controller. I mean, I actually got some good Shatter Foils here that I liked. Can't say a lot of I can't say that about a lot of the shatter foils I got, but enemy controller. I might actually like this better than the ultra enemy controller because I feel like this card doesn't deserve to be ultra anymore. So this is more fitting. It's like a cool common card. Resurrection of Shock, which I thought there was a card in MRL like a Magic Ruler that looked a lot like this. Love that. Love the art. Um, Tri Dust Dragon, really cool effect. I always love the mimics your opponent's card but is stronger thing like they're always harder to get out like you need three level four monsters for this but I just love you know cards like that really cool and then Shore Knight his effect is, is really it would take a lot of backup cards to make it useful but I love the art I love the knight cards are so cool okay leave your reaction to my polls in the comment section below check out my channel if you haven't already and subscribe and see you guys next time Oh yeah.